TikTok and the World Health Organization are joining forces to raise awareness and increase access to trustworthy information. It is a joint effort to support influencers in delivering accurate information regarding health. So joining us to help straighten out our knowledge about some of these trends is ABC News medical correspondent, Dr. Darian Good Sutton. morning. This is so important because yes. so many people turn to social media for health news. So let's talk about this because before we even get into these trending topics, why is this even important? I think it's so important because it's about meeting people where they are. As you said, one in four people are looking for their news on TikTok, which is an important and, and many to many people a valuable source of information. So I think always figuring out how to bring science to help combat misinformation, improve health literacy, that helps to improve outcomes. So this is a wonderful establishment involving with over 800 collaborators, which has the opportunity to reach to over 150 million people. That's so wow. much more than wow. anyone can do in a day. Yeah. So our first trending topic here, um, and I lol when I first read about this, taping the mouth shut at yes. bedtime. I was like, no. And then Gio <laughs> says, says he's been he doing does this every night. <laughs> for the last week. Supposedly, I've been trying it out. It helps with breathing. Yeah. Let's have the doctor explain okay, instead yeah. of Gio. Well, Wait, what's the deal I've got to respond to my text messages. So I didn't <laughs> know that you were involved in this, but this is really, really popular. So I'm not surprised. You're always trying to improve your health. So it's about looking at the data, right? So this is a theory that taping your mouth shut can help to improve things like improve snoring, reduce dry mouth, and even in some cases, people are saying that it helps to uh, improve your jawline. Now, Thank you. I will no, say no, no. he has a strong jawline. Let's just establish about... that. Let the man speak. Okay. Data right. is what separates opinions from facts. So let's go into the data <laughs> and look at it. So overall, the studies show that yes, it might help some improvement with snoring. The studies are really small. I'm sorry, Gio. Oh. There's no formative conclusion on whether or not it improves with jawline or improves with other things like dry mouth. But here's the thing. If you are having difficulty snoring, I'm not saying you. I want to protect your privacy. He's like but a if someone wild is, boar out there. there. <laughs> <laughs> this is not what if I'm someone doing. is having difficulty snoring, look at the reasons. You know, could it be anatomy? Could it be allergies? Could it be alcohol? Sometimes wait. And so these, there are many reasons that you want to walk down the line to rule out snoring. I would say personally, if you do decide to use mouth taping, to use porous tape, tape oh, that yeah, comes yeah. off effortlessly. You don't <laughs> want to be... Tape. Yeah, not Taping your mouth down with duct tape that can increase your risk of all complications. Yeah. And I would hate to see you in the ER for that. Yes, so in yes. case you got different, never mind. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, sunburning. Yeah. Uh, there are countless videos that say it can clear up acne. And there's some data behind that, but you have to understand that there's a lot of risk. So a lot of the data goes on red light therapy. We've all talked yeah. about it. Red light therapy has been shown if used consistently to improve things like acne. However, red light is only a small component that's in UV light that's provided by the sun. And I don't know if many people know this, five or more sunburns during your life doubles your risk of melanoma later wow. on. Wow. Wearing SPF as little as 15 regularly every day cuts that risk by 50%. So you have to do it safely. I say if you're looking for reasons to treat or options to treat your acne, look for what we know tried and tested. Salicylic acid, glycolic acid, cleansing twice a day. And then if you're looking for light therapy, look for red light therapy. It might be safe. Hopefully you it's, drop it your is skincare safer. routine because your skin's glowing. Thank you. I appreciate that. Most yeah. of this is provided genetically. But yes. <laughs> wow. Just like the job. He was just like ready for that. Yeah. <laughs> or maybe it was the duct tape. Uh, Dr. Sutton, as always, I wish we had more time for this. We've got more topics to talk about.